Welcome back to Beginner Miniatures. Today I'm painting 3D tokens from Batman Gotham City Chronicles. I'm beginning up with the safe, which I primed black, and now I'm just stippling it with some lead belcher to get a nice silver tone that looks kind of worn down. Then I paint the stuff on the top. I begin by painting the folder in with a nice orangish manila color, and then I come in for the pen that's sitting next to it and paint it in with blue, and then I paint the label on the folder with some white. Then I used a real quick, quick blue wash over the pen, and then I took a brown wash over the entire folder. And then once that wash had dried, the safe was completely finished up, and then I moved on to computers. For those, I had them all tacked down onto a popsicle stick so I could paint them all at once, and I began by going over them with a gray dry brush, so that way I would sharpen all the edges nicely while leaving the recesses black. Then for the screen, I painted them in with an azure blue, which I really liked because it made it look like it was on without having to do any type of freehand on the screen. Then I used blue to dry brush over all of the keycaps so they would be separated out from the rest of it on the keyboard. And then I came in with some red and put a little dot on the little mouse ball tracker. Then to separate out the stand of the computer a bit, I took some lead belcher and I went over the entire stand just to brighten it up and make it look a little metallic. Then moving on to the control panels, I did something very similar. I took a bit of a lighter gray and I dry brushed over the entire thing. And in this, I went over it uh, intentionally going side to side so it would have a nice even texture across it. I also left all the buttons in with black and then came in with some lead belcher and went over that to get all the hi edges highlighted up. Then I started to take some random colors and painting in all of the buttons, beginning with some green, just picking out a few random ones on each one and painting them on. Then I moved on to some orange. And here I'm using a bit of yellow. And then again the same thing, just picking out a few random buttons on each with some blue. And to finish it off, I used a bit of red on some of the last buttons. Then moving on to the dynamite. For this I began by going over the black base coat with a heavy overbrush of a dark brown, still making sure to leave a little bit of black in the shadows. And then once that had dried, I went over it with a lighter dry brush of cork brown to catch all of the edges. Then to finish off the wood, I took a dark brown wash and went over the entire thing with that. Then I used a fairly bright red to make a nice comic-y dynamite stick for all of the dynamite sticks sitting on it. Then I used a dark red wash to darken down all of the recesses on the dynamite. Then I used some pure black to paint over all of the straps holding the dynamite together, as well as all of the control panel. Then, while successfully keeping them out of frame the entire time, I painted in the little dials white, a little strip blue underneath it to symbolize some control buttons, as well as a small red line right in the middle of the white to look like a timer. Then, to wrap it off, I took some green and put it right along the side to make it look like a wire, and that finished these off. Then once everything was dry, I slathered them with Velcro to protect it um, and remove the shine. I'm really happy with how good these turned out for how quickly I painted them. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.